Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today with my Troy football predictions for the 2019 college football season. Before I continue, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe to the channel. It will be great. We appreciate it if you do that. I have a subscriber goal of 200 subscribers by August 24th, which I would love to hit. So go ahead and hit that subscriber button if uh, you haven't uh, subscribed yet. You won't regret it. Anyways, Troy, um, a team that usually seems to be one of the better teams in the Sun Belt. We'll go through the pros and cons, best case and worst case scenario. Three toughest and three easiest games. Then we'll go through the schedule game by game. I'll tell you which games out of Troy winning and losing. Anyways, let's start with the pros and cons. One pro and one con. Your first pro is the offense. The Troy offense is going to be good this year. Uh, Neil Brown, I know he left, which I'll get into in a minute here. But I do think that the offense is still going to be pretty good this year, even under the new head coach. And speaking about the new head coach, that is your one con. Listen, I'm always a little bit leery about a, a uh, program having a new head coach or a team having a new head coach. Uh, Arrest is like someone proven. Uh, I guarantee you the guy that you got is not proven because I think he was hired with Finn. So I'm, as a head coach, not as a coordinator, as a head coach. But he needs to prove something to everybody. So I, I'm always a little bit leery about that. For example, Kevin Sumlin, I thought he was going to go into Arizona last year and win eight, nine, ten games. He doesn't even make a bowl game. So new head coach, always a little bit leery about a new head coach. That's your one con. Now let's go through the best case and worst case scenario. Here's the uh, schedule right here in front of you. Best case scenario, 11 and 1. Worst case scenario, 7 and 5. Um, that road game at Missouri is going to be tough. At Louisiana is going to be tough as well. And then you get Georgia Southern and Appalachia stay at home. Um, and the Southern Miss, I'll throw them in the conversation as well. Uh, I think you lose at least one out of those five games. Worst case scenario, seven and five. You slip up on a game or two that you that um you probably shouldn't lose, and um you lose a few games that you probably should lose, but you also slip, slip up on a game or two that you probably shouldn't lose. Your three toughest games are Missouri, Georgia Southern, and Louisiana. Uh, Missouri Power Five school, um, a school in my a team in my opinion that's going to probably at least be in a bowl game. Uh, they have Kelly Bryant at the quarterback, so it's going to be a good year, I think, with Missouri. The only thing with them is that they they are not in, going to be able to make a bowl game. They have a one-year ban. Um, Georgia Southern, they won that uh, triple option. They uh, they were really good last year. Um, they just missed out on the uh, Sun Belt Championship game. They're trying to get there this year. And then Louisiana, they're actually one of the better teams there in um, the Sun Belt. You get them on the road, so that's why I went with them over the Appalachia State game because you get Appalachia State at home this year. Three easiest games, Campbell, uh, South Alabama, and Texas State. Campbell is an FCS school, uh, so I'm not really going to talk about them. South Alabama, uh, you get them at home on Wednesday night. Uh, I don't like that too much. It games on Wednesday nights, but... They're a terrible team. And then Texas State, I know you get them on the road. Terrible team. Let's go through the schedule now, game by game. I'll tell you which games I have Troy winning and losing here. Um, so let's start off with the first game uh, at home against Campbell. Um, FCS opponent here. Uh, this will be a win for Troy. Uh, I'm not going to really make that much of an argument for um, right here. But Troy's going to win this game 48-14. to um, and by the way, um, don't hold me to the uh, game by games and the scores because I'm going to give a score a uh, score for each one of these as well. Just hold me to um, the final record prediction at the end. Um, but anyways, you get your first bye week. Every team gets two bye weeks because of how the uh, schedule aligns with the uh, calendar this year. Second uh, game of the year is going to be Southern Miss at home. Southern Miss, one, Southern Mississippi. I'm going to refer to them as Southern Miss. One of the better teams in the Conference USA. You do get them at home, though. I think it goes back and forth. But at the end, I did pick Southern Mississippi to beat you all. Um, I think they are just a better team than all the teams in the uh, Sun Belt, in my opinion. So give me Southern Miss by a touchdown, 31-24 to Southern Miss. Next game, at Akron. Uh, Akron is one of those teams. They're going to be one of the mediocre teams in the MAC. I think you get the win despite the game being on the road. I think uh, Troy gets the win here. 
uh, kind of convincingly as well, 42-23. to Next game, Arkansas State at home. Arkansas State is one of the better teams in the Sun Belt. They have a pretty good offense. Uh, this game is going to be a shootout. It'll go back and forth. At the end, the game's in Troy, Alabama. I'm picking Troy to win by a touchdown, 38-31, Troy. Next game, at Missouri. Uh, this is your toughest game of the year. Missouri is one of those teams, and by the way, I already did the Missouri football prediction video, so go check that out. Um, Missouri's one of those teams. I think they're going to be a bit inconsistent this year, but they're going to be decent, but just a bit inconsistent because they're not going to have that focus level since they're really playing for nothing this year. They can't even make the SEC championship game if they go 12-0 and or something, which, by the way, I don't have them going. But anyways, I think this game is closer than it should be, but I did say Troy was going to lose this game. 37-28 to uh, Missouri in this one. Then you get your second bye week. After your uh, second bye week, Wednesday night game at home against South Alabama. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like these Wednesday night, and I think the MAC does Tuesday night football games. I, I don't like that. I'm fine with Thursday night games. I'm fine with Friday night games, even though I'm a little bit, li even though I'm going to be honest with you. I don't. I think only a uh, group of five teams should be playing on Thursday and Friday nights. All the Power Five should be playing on Saturdays. I'm fine with Saturday night games. I'm fine with, in week one with that Sunday night, Monday night game. Screw the th the uh, Tuesday and Wednesday night games. But anyways, you play them on Wednesday night at home. You play South Alabama. This will be a win. Very easy win. 55-21, to 21, Troy. Next game at Georgia State. Win. Georgia State is one of the worst teams in the Sun Belt. They'll win it. The I think Troy will win this one. 45 to 17. Next game at Coastal Carolina. Coastal Carolina is going to be a middle, middle of the road team in the Sun Belt. I think they're going to maybe pull off an upset or two. And I think this is going to be one of them. Um, I have Troy losing this one 34 to 30. I mean, this, Coastal Carolina did uh, blow out UAB last year. So they're capable of winning against some of these teams. So give me Coastal Carolina and the upset 34 to uh, 30. Next game, Georgia Southern, your homecoming game. This is going to be a fun game to watch. Uh, Georgia Southern is one of those teams. They won that triple option. They're going. To, it's going to be really tough to stop them. Uh, this team was the team that uh, blew out Appalachian State last year when they were ranked. Uh, so they definitely could play some football down there at Georgia Southern. I uh, went back and forth for a fit. It's homecoming for Troy. I gave it to Troy because it's homecoming and it's a home game for Troy, but that's just about it. I do think Georgia Southern is better than Troy going into this year, but I think Troy gets to win 37-35. Next game at Texas State. This will be a win. Texas State, in my opinion, is the worst team in the Sun Belt. 52-13, Troy. Next game at Louisiana, the Rage of Cajuns. <laughs> it's fun saying that. Uh, but actually, this is one of the better teams, though, in the, in the uh, Sun Belt. I put it down as your third toughest game of the year. I went back and forth with it. I gave it to Louisiana. I think they win this game. 31-27 to Louisiana. I think Troy might be a bit better than Louisiana, but I think that Louisiana, with the game being in Louisiana, give me Louisiana on this one. And then your final game, a Friday game at home against Appalachian State. By the way, if you haven't seen the Appalachian State football prediction video, go check that one out. Um... I went back and forth with it. I do think Appalachian State is the better team. Both teams have new head coaches. And I gave it to Appalachian State. I think they're just better than Troy at this point. 24-21 Appalachian State over Troy. So that's all the games right there. You count up all the wins and, wins and losses. At Troy going 7-5 and five with a 5-3 and three conference record. 7-5 and five with a 5-3 and three conference record. Overall, I think it's going to be just a little bit of a down year for Troy this year with a new head coach. I know this is the worst case scenario for Troy, but you're still going to be in a bowl game. Uh, so that's good news. And hopefully, um, Troy will do better than this. But I have Troy going 7-5 and five with a 5-3 five, five and three conference record. I just think it's going to be kind of a down year for them. But anyways, comment down below. Tell me what you think. I always like hearing from you all. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe to the, to the uh, channel. It will be greatly appreciated if you do that. Thanks for watching, and this is McGee the Beast signing off.